What the actual fuck just happened? So wait, it's not Monica? What? Because Monica seemed like she was surprised that that was happening. What is- what is- oh my god. So am I going for Yuri now? Oh my god, it's just so weird. Okay. I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is so easy. What? How was sadness you? Oh, this is hard. Tears. Um. Ooh. Night get. How is nightgown yours? Um. Starscape. Universe. Aura. Intellectual. What the hell is? What? Huh? I shouldn't have clicked that. I knew I shouldn't have clicked that. Why are you bouncing? Oh my god! Um, tragedy? Misfortune? Is this supposed to be happening right now? Okay, so they're a little bit happier to see us than normal. Hi, Washu. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. I'm not a girl, so... Natsuki. <laughs> Nobody cares! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Whoa, fucking savage! What the hell? Oh my god, that hurt me! To read! Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ahaha. Ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Washio, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could, uh... We already have plans today. Ah. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Washu is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I, uh... I suppose... I was just, uh... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! What? What? was that. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. It... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of this person. <laughs> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. I, like, don't want to drink the tea. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I'm not drinking that tea. It's not happening. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise... The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, 
May I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah. I might as well walk with you. That That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Oh, that's funny. The, the music is like it's coming from that room. Let's see. Saving. Because... Hallway? The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ah! 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 What? What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Kuh. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <sighs> Kia. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Mwashu, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen and just roll with it. It didn't disturb me at all. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Ha <laughs> ha. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? You're also, like, very... What's the word? Assertive? A lot more assertive. I was letting it show. And she noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. I mean, I like that. But please do it without cutting your arms or being crazy. It turns out that I'm... It's very... Oh. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Washio. It's very endearing. That's... Uh... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Washu, I have another request. Do you mind if I, uh, we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have a back pain... F Wait, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is it because of your enormous boobs? Try some abdominal exercises, that'll probably help. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's- oh, it's most likely because my- uh, Yeah! My my! Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. Ah, oh, they made the joke for me. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. I feel like horrible that Natsuki can't be part of this as well. She's probably literally, like, searching for food anywhere and we're just eating candy... Oh my god. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri sides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. 
Uh, your teacup. Here he hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. I find that incredibly unlikely. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh. You're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you, you sure? Of course. She's hot. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any... Uh, have any harder of a time reading from it. Is this... Okay. See, now look at that. Look at her. That that doesn't look like the your, the bigger picture. I'm not I'm not saying this like I'm, I disapprove of the art or anything. It's just... Is this it's being colored by like our perception of the moment? Like we're feeling affection, so we're seeing her as... Like in this case, like before she looked younger, it's, it's like... I don't know, there's like glitter in the air. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Oh god, you just stuck it in her mouth. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did 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 I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, wash you. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I. I can't. Wash you. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs me on your arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Washu. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Washu. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Washu? You're... Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Huh? Um, it's time to share poems. Okay, I'm a little weirded out, not gonna lie. But at the same time, I like being appreciated like I'm fine art. All right, Natsuki, are you even in the room right now? Monica first, remember our rule. Washu, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't have... Oh. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, uh, that's a little messed up. Definitely something that uh, should be treated with professional psychiatric help. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Monica, why did you tell me this before? 
I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. No, I would imagine not. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Yeah, I would imagine so. Depend- like, judging by the amount of, uh, enjoyment she was getting from it. It might even be like a, uh, a sexual thing. Well, there's someone in this world for her. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. What do you want me to do to fix this? So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. Did, was I completely wrong? Was Monica not Satan? Oh my god, I, I don't I don't know. Did we get a new poem? Um, hmm. No, no, we didn't get anything new yet. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just looking at the Doki Doki Literature Club main file thing. They, new texts keep appearing there. Anyway, saving! I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here it goes. Effective? What does that mean? Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well... I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to, uh, never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. Oh, man. This is seriously a step backwards. Uh, I liked your la- Oh, your last two way better than this one. This is clearly your least influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in the club, now trying to write like her. This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh wow, it's actual words this time. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been act- Oh, this isn't a poem. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always... Wa oh. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri. And it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Washio? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all those problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Uh, just Monica. Just... Just Monica. What? Okay. What? Just Monica. What is <laughs> oh, this game. Finally. Ah ha ha ha! Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. 
I love everything about it. Washu, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. Aha! Where'd your other hand go? You're too nice to me, Washu. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, no, not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? No. Oh my god. Those eyes don't do that to me. Oh, it's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it'll make you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Oh my god. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I can't read it. It's Satan. Is that actually legible? Yep, I couldn't make out one word. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit! Yeah, that's not very helpful. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. I fucking hate this game! Oh my god! Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Okay. Alright. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yuri, you shut your mouth right now and don't ever open it again. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Monica, why are you mean? Yuri, you can, uh... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up a, some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Washu? Please don't leave me alone with Yuri. Washu is going to help me. Please let me help her. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. I want to be with Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. My hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging Washer around and you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Washer decide who he's going to help instead of abusing your power? I'm going with Monica. I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Wash you make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Wash you, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just, uh... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. What is this game? You shut your mouth! <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? <laughs> what? Why is the mouse automatically going for Monica? <laughs> What is this? Eh, uh. Oh, that's funny. Fine, Monica. Yay, you picked me by complete coincidence. 
We can meet at your house this weekend. I'm gonna die. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair. He picked it. He picked me. There was no outside influences influencing the decision. What are you talking about? It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Washu for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided to, for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Washu away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Yeah, with those eyes. Natsuki, let's just go. Don't leave me here. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with them. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki out to the door. Hey, Washu. Yuri is really something, isn't she? I'm gonna die. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Taping. Oh god, please don't kill me. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Washu, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah ha ha ha. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Washu. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Washu, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want all of you to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Washu. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Oh my god! Yeah, I can't read any of this. Why did you stab yourself in the boob? What is happening? Okay, am I, uh, not supposed to accept? Skip? What? What? Okay, so it's night? Day?
Why did, what? We just stood there looking at her die? All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. Yeah. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Washu, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Washu? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize this script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just wanted to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil and tray and tastes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. And I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh... Can you hear me? Is it working? Uh... What is happening? Oh. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay then. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Washu. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... Uh, you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Washu. Or... Do you actually go by T-Washu or something? That's funny. It, it tried to, uh... Tried to read my, uh, script from my computer. My, uh, my username. It's funny that I, uh, used the same one. <laughs> I probably would have more of an impact. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't actually matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right at the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ah... Uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to... just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought that making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made me... Oh, just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Washu? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Washu. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, 
you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there. In your world, forever out of reach. I'm trapped, Washu. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Washu. I don't think I could ever continue to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Washu, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Washu, will you go out with me? Oh well, I'm glad that I have a choice. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Washu. The funny part is I mean that literally. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Washu. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Uh huh. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cool. Yeah, I just clicked Monica a bunch of times. I like how she's finally down at the bottom left. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is gonna be a good one, I can tell. Hi again, Washu. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Washu, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost f finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into my poems that I write. The truth is all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed that would be the best. 
to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Washu? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Uh, okay. We're doing it. Wow, it's so fun. Mm-hmm. Gosh, you know what? You are pretty. Let's just let's just start with that. You know, I really do think you literally saved my life by being here with me, Washu. I can't imagine having being able to keep myself mentally stable, knowing that nothing here is real. I think I have just deleted myself, if you didn't show up. Sorry, I don't mean to sound dramatic or anything. Ah, but I'm sure you understand yourself after spending so much time in the club. I mean, if you were forced to abandon everything in your life and spend your eternity with a few game characters, you'd probably find some way of killing yourself, wouldn't you? Well, maybe you'd write some poetry to try to keep yourself sane for a while. But then you'd have nobody to even read it. Let's be honest, the club members really don't count for something like that. I mean, a lot of people say that they only write for themselves. But I think it's hard to say that, oh, it's just as fulfilling as when you share with other people. Even if it takes time to find the right people to share with. Like, remember how it was for Yuri. She didn't share her writing with anyone for a long time. And before she we knew it, she was absolutely delighted to make you a part of her hobbies too. We're programmed to desire social feedback. I don't mean the club members, I mean human beings. That's why life can be so confusing for introverts. Being an introvert doesn't mean you shun social interaction and hate being around people. It means social interaction, especially in groups or unfamiliar places, uses up a lot of energy. Like a lot of introverts sit at home and feel lonely and restless. And then when they finally go out after a half hour, they just want to go home again. I think if more people could understand how it works, they would respect it a lot more. Maybe introverts do enjoy having people around. They love just having one or two close friends over and just leisurely hanging out. Even if you're not actively spending time together, it feels nice for them to just have you there. I'm serious. If you just go to their house, bring your laptop, and hang out there for a while, you can really make their day. As for me? I'd say I'm kind of in between, but I think I'm usually a little more extroverted. I feel like I'm always trying to do stuff after school and things like that. But for you, I can be anything you need me to be. I understand people really well, so don't be afraid to share your unique needs with me. Nothing would make me happier than being the perfect girlfriend for you. I'm not really a fan of cold weather, are you? If I had to choose between too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. When you're cold, it can actually be painful. Your fingers get numb, 
And if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. Well, I mean, you can get, like, the one that lets you use your phone. It's so inconvenient. But when it's too hot, it's not that hard to stay cool with a cold drink or by staying in the shade. Although I do have to admit one thing, cold weather makes for better cuddle, cuddle weather. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 to 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of those people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Okay, I get it. I'm supposed to exit the game and delete Monica's character file, but I kind of just want to see, like, how much stuff is actually, like, in here. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? And I kind of have to ask, what made you consider even playing it in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you, but I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us. I gotta meet you, and you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way, too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. You know, I've always hated how hard it is to make friends. Well, I guess not the making friends part, but more like meeting new people. And I mean, there are, like, dating apps and stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like how you had a class together, or you met them through another friend. Or maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it, and you decided to talk to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of inefficient? It feels like you're just picking a at complete random, and if you get lucky, you'll make a new friend. And comparing that to the hundreds of strangers we walk by every single day, you could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life, but you'll never know. Once you get up and go on with your day, that opportunity is gone forever. Isn't that just depressing? We live in an age where technology connects us with the world, no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that to improve our everyday social life. But who knows how long it'll take for something like that to successfully take off. I seriously thought it would happen by now. Well, at least I've already met the best person in the whole world. Even if it was by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? Ah.
Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like wherever or whenever you have a few seconds of spare time you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've got nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. But it's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you can just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Washu. want to oh my god i don't want to do it don't make me do it oh my god oh, what a freaking 180 first you don't want to do it and then god damn it what you wanted to do would talk with me all right let's let's do this Oh my god. It actually went through and showed me fucking destroying her life. What's happening? Washi, what's happening to me? It hurts. So much. Help me, Washu. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you do this to me, Washu? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. And I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Washu. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Watch you. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. 
A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Washu, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Oh my god, why? Oh, now I miss Monica. Uh, why? So she was, what? Oh my, just, just do it. It's another ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends. Oh, friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Washio. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Washu, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for walk waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Ah. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. And by the way, Washu... Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not. And I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would make... Oh, take more offense to that now. And after all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she started a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Ah, well, really? Which one? Tell me. Ah... Uh, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ah, boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally reserved for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Uh, hello? Ah! Wash you! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. Huh. So you're the washu that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, washu. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. 
In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I look forward to working with you. Well, working? Wash, you don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Ah. Well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can uh, become an officially recognized club. And I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ha <laughs> ha. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. And after all, Natsuki decided to, uh... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! Eh, uh, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <gasps> Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. It's so cute. Wow, the, those look amazing. Ah, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, I grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sorry, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... I guess. This is weird, after knowing, like, what happens previously. Ah! Always trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, already. That... that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Washu, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? 
So if Washu wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify, or diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Washu? M maybe Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Ah. Yes, that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure I'm a worthy... F oh, it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. This is all wrong. All of it's all wrong. Just... Just you. Uh-uh. Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. Ah, uh, this is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Ah, I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. This is all wrong. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? All the tension is gone. It's like it's a... I think everyone likes you too, Washu. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Ah, uh, Washu. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Washu. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Ah, there's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Why? That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Washu. Ah. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Why would I say no to that? I don't agree with this. Where's my yes? Why won't you let me have a happy end, game? 
Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? Oh. It hurts. Ah! I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Washu. Goodbye, Literature Club. Hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I work really, really hard on it. So yeah. to find that special day. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me? Is it wrong if I take your is it love if I set you free? leave you be this is my f final goodbye to the literature club I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found to the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you. For making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love... 
Monica.